Hey, hey, amazing chat chatters and a big hello from me. We are in today for another immersive grammar class. And this one has everything you need to know about articles A, AN and THE. One class, all concepts covered with lots of examples. Today's class, we're going to cover four major things. First, we're going to talk about the basic usage of articles. The indefinite articles A and AN, all the cases where they are used and also the difference between A and AN with lots of examples. Next, we're going to talk about the definite article THE pronunciation and all the cases where it's going to be used with examples. And finally, we will discuss situations of no articles, when articles are omitted and when they should be used along with examples. And so, let's get going. Hey everyone, this is Chetna and you're on Chet Chat. And this content is also available as a video podcast on Skill Up with Chet Chat. First, let's talk about the basic usage of articles. Let's begin with the indefinite articles A and AN. A and AN are used to talk about one single thing. So we use them with singular countable nouns. A bag means one bag. AN orange means one orange. Now these are indefinite articles since the person or thing they are referring to is not specific. For example, a doctor is any doctor. Now the definite article THE. The is a definite article since it points to some particular person or thing. I met the doctor today means I met a specific doctor today. We could also say the teacher, the teachers, the water. So the is used with singular countable, plural countable and uncountable nouns. Now here's a table for you on your screen and you can take a screenshot. Let's look at each of them one by one. Singular count nouns. Now we can't say dog sat on the bench. We have to say a dog sat on the bench or the dog sat on the bench. So singular count nouns require an article. Proper nouns. Now Johnny sat on the bench is correct. We cannot say a Johnny or the Johnny. So proper nouns do not need articles. What about plural countable nouns? Cats sat on the bench is correct and the cats sat on the bench is also correct. Uncountable nouns, fruit is on the table is correct and the fruit is on the table is also correct. Okay, we have a broad idea and now we're going to deep dive into indefinite articles A and AN. The choice between A and AN is determined by sound. When the word after the article begins with a consonant sound, a is used. Example, a boy, a horse, a unicorn, a European, a useful article, a deer, a yard. Notice the consonant sound y in European. Also a one-eyed man, since it's pronounced as one with a w. When the word after the article begins with a vowel sound, an is used. Example, an operation theater, an honest man, an hour, an orange, an umbrella, an ink pad. You already know this. So let's move on to the use of the indefinite article. Remember that we were using a and an before singular countable nouns and not before countable or plural nouns. Like we cannot say a sugar or an umbrellas. Now the first usage of a and an is a number. Example, 12 inches make a foot. Not a word was spoken. I saw an owl in the tree. A and an are used in the numerical sense to denote one, like one foot, one word, one apple. Example, she's wearing a pair of jeans. I bought a dozen eggs. A dozen eggs means one dozen eggs. A and an are also used to indicate an approximate number or amount. Um, he's been waiting for a couple of hours, approximately two hours. I need a little more sugar for this recipe, a small unspecified amount. I have a few questions about the assignment, an unspecified small number of questions. If we had a specific number or amount which was greater than one, then we would not require an article. For example, he waited for two hours. He asked three questions. Next, we can use A and AN to denote a certain example. One day, a little puppy came to my door. 
a ramesh kumar is suspected by the police a certain person called ramesh kumar but at this point it is not certain who the person is so we don't know who that specific person is a and an are also used to meet any for example can you lend me an umbrella she's looking for a book to read any book in general not a specific one now we can use a and an with a single countable noun to generalize in a broad or non specific sense example a cat is a furry animal we're talking about cats in general an apple is a healthy snack now here we're talking about apples as a type of snack next we know that we are not supposed to use articles before a proper noun but we can make a common noun out of a proper noun with articles take a look at these examples he's a real einstein when it comes to physics she's a true romeo when it comes to romance we can also use a and an to express price rate or speed and other terms of measurement that shirt costs 100 dollars she paid an arm and a leg for that concert ticket he's driving at 100 miles per hour she can type at a speed of 60 words per minute a and an can also be used to talk about jobs occupations and roles he is a musician karan is an astronaut she wants to be a doctor when she grows up we also use a and an with expressions of frequency to indicate how often something happens for example I go to the gym twice a week which means two times per week. He gets paid once a month, once every month. Now collective nouns you know already are singular in nature. So we can use indefinite articles before collective nouns. For example, a box of matches, a deck of cards, a bar of soap, a herd of cows. Now if you're describing something or someone and using an adjective, we would use a and an. especially if we want to describe a type she is a kind person you're describing a particular type of person he is a good cook you're describing a particular type of cook but if we want to say he is awesome she is kind then we don't require articles indefinite articles like a and an are also used with acronyms and initialisms He is an MVP in basketball. MVP stands for most valuable player. She works for an NGO. Comment below and tell me the full form of NGO. He is a FIFA player and an NBA fan. Now here is a full list of all the 12 use cases of indefinite articles and you can take a screenshot. I've given you all the rules but remember the best way to learn this topic well is to read a lot and to practice speaking often. And now before we move on to the definite article the and its usage I want to give a shout out to Hina Mudassir for this wonderful message. And if you too want a shout out you know what to do leave me a message below with the hashtag #chatchatters. Now let's move on to the definite article the. And first of all Let's take a look at the pronunciation of the. There are two ways to pronounce the. So, when the word following begins with a consonant sound, we say the. The book, the car, the university. Notice it need not actually be a consonant, it just needs to be a sound. And even though university was written with a u, the sound was y. A university. okay not an university now when the following word begins with a vowel sound we say the the apple the honest man the elephant in the zoo is enormous once again honest has a silent h and the first sound is o honest another way to use the is sometimes when native speakers want to emphasize something they use the example the best speaker this is the best pizza i've ever had by the way did you know that the is the most frequently used word in english language and a comes at number 6 on the list now we're going to talk about the use of the definite article the if you want to decide whether to use the word the or not ask yourself three questions question number 1 
is the noun generic? This is the first question to ask before deciding whether we are going to use a definite article or whether we are going to use an indefinite article or maybe no article at all. So what does the word generic mean? It comes from the word general and it's used to generalize about all possible members of a group. Let's quickly look at these five patterns. It is surprising what gymnasts can do. Gymnastics is a beautiful sport to watch. It is surprising what a gymnast can do. It is surprising what the gymnast can do. The gymnast is the most flexible of all athletes. In the first two cases, gymnasts and gymnastics is used to generalize all members of the group or the sport in general. These are plural nouns and abstract nouns and they are used in a generic sense and therefore we don't use an article. In the third sentence, we're using a singular count noun, gymnast, and we mean any and hence we're using a. In the fourth sentence, we are no longer talking generic. This time we are referring to a specific gymnast and hence we use the, the definite article. In the fifth sentence, the singular noun is representing the entire class. The cow is a useful animal. By any other name, the rose would smell as sweet. So the two uses of the are when we're talking about something specific or if we are using a singular noun to talk about the entire class. Question number two. Is the noun indefinite or definite? Unspecified or specific? Let's look at all the cases where the noun is specific. First, we already know this usage. She is wearing the hat you gave her. We're talking about a specific hat. Don't walk on the wet floor. Which floor? The specific wet floor. Now take a look at these two sentences. A girl is walking down the road. There is a dog with the girl. Now the general rule says that the first mention of a noun is indefinite and all subsequent references to this noun are specific and definite and take the. Now see this sentence. Combine butter, sugar and eggs. Add flour to mixture. Now we've not used the word mixture before. Can we still use the? Now the subsequent mention may be a synonym. We know we're talking about the specific mixture that is made by combining butter, sugar and eggs. So we would say Combine butter, sugar and eggs, add flour to the mixture. Now check this out. Put some butter in an egg. Now fold the butter with the egg. In the first case, it is an indefinite mention and we use an for egg since it is a singular count noun and it begins with a vowel. And no article for butter since it is an uncountable noun. In the subsequent mention, the is correct for both count and non-count nouns. A growing plant must have water and minerals. The plant must also have sunlight. The minerals must include nitrates and the water must not be saline. While we are answering question number two, is the noun specific, we need to note that there are four special groups of nouns that are considered definite in reference even if they have not been mentioned in the preceding sentence or clause. The first group consists of nouns which refer to shared knowledge of the situation or context. Let's take an example. We might say the president will arrive tomorrow because we all know it's a shared knowledge. We all know there is just one president. So we know who we are talking about. Similarly, if there's only one hospital in the town, we may say he's been working in the hospital for two years. But if there are many hospitals in the city, then you may have to name the particular hospital in your first reference. Example, he's been working at Apollo Hospital for two years. He says the hospital has many doctors. The second group of specific nouns is nouns referring to unique objects. The sun, the earth, the pope, the sky, the equator. Notice I said the earth and the sun. The best coffee grows near the equator. 
Now the third type of noun which is always considered specific is ones which have a superlative adjective and unique adjective. Because there can be only one of these, only one of the series can be the tallest or the best or the first. So they take on the definite article. Example, Mexico City is the most populous city in the world. I enjoyed the first part but I was disappointed at the end. She is the principal researcher. Now the fourth type of noun which is always considered specific is nouns with clauses and noun phrases introduced by only. Example, my aunt is the only person I trust. Is this the only bowl you have? So we have asked two questions already to find out whether or not to use the definite article. The first question was, is the noun generic? The second was, is the noun specific? And the third question is, is the noun modified? Let's look at how the noun can be modified. One way can be modified before the noun, pre-modification, and one way can be modified after the noun, post-modification, and we are going to look at both. Pre-modification. If the noun is preceded by one of these, this, that, these, those, some, any, each, every, no, none, my, mine, we do not use the definite article. Like we say the red books, but some red books, no red book, his red book, each red book. We don't say no the red book or each the red book. But why? Why? Because these words are called determiners. They provide some specific information about the noun and they make that sentence more specific or precise and understandable. Now articles are also determiners. So the rule is that if one type of determiner has been used, then we don't need to use another one. The big hat is fine. The no big hat is wrong. No big hat is enough. Post modification. Look at these sentences. We take the regular collection of garbage for granted. The journey to Vancouver takes three days by train. No one expected the results that were found. In these cases, when we post modify a noun, what does that mean? The noun is followed by a dependent clause, who, which, that, or maybe a prepositional phrase, of, in, to. Then we are making it specific. And once it becomes specific, it takes the definite article. The man who lives next door is Chinese. Cool. So we asked three questions. Is the noun generic? Is the noun specific? And is the noun modified? Now here on your screen is a full list of these questions and you can take a screenshot. But there are also other special uses of the and we're going to see them one by one. First with country names and geographical locations. Some countries have plural country names, typically ending with S. And we use the with such names. Have you been to the Netherlands? The beaches in the Bahamas are incredible. They travel to the Maldives for their honeymoon. Now before country names also that include Republic, Kingdom, Union or State or similar sounding words, we use the. She's currently in the Dominican Republic. She was born in the Middle East. I am visiting the United States. We also use the with certain geographical features like names of oceans, the Pacific Ocean, seas, the Baltic Sea, rivers, the Nile River, canals, the Panama Canal, uh, deserts, the Gobi Desert or forests, the Amazon Rainforest, peninsulas, the Iberian Peninsula, maybe mountain ranges, the Himalayas. But if we were to talk about Mount Everest, then we don't use an article. Mount Everest is the tallest mountain in the Himalayas. We use the before famous buildings and well-known works of art as well. Example, did you go to Paris just to see the Eiffel Tower? I should have seen the Mona Lisa. Notice that Paris did not require an article. Next, the is used before proper nouns that are qualified by an adjective. The great Caesar, the immortal Shakespeare. 
the is also used when talking about hotels, restaurants and pubs. You should stay at the Hilton. I had breakfast at the Corner Cafe this morning. Let's head over to Fraser Town. Now you can skip the article if the name of the establishment is a proper noun. You can say, let's go to Cobbler and Crew. The is used before names of organizations. She works for the Indian Administrative Service. The World Health Organization just mentions something about that. Next, we use the with names of newspapers. Mandy told me to read this article from The Guardian. We haven't read the review in the Times yet. Next, let's look at media and communications. Here are a few sentences and notice the difference. Please pass me the newspaper. I want to read about the match. I need to buy a mobile phone for my mother. Did you see him on television? The newspapers are all in agreement on the latest financial disaster. The first one is a specific noun. Which newspaper? The specific one on that table. The second one is any, a mobile phone, any mobile phone. In the third one, television is now used as a medium of broadcasting. We're not referring to a specific physical device. In the fourth one, when we say the newspapers, it means all the newspapers as a whole, the entire media system or industry. Next, let's talk about means of transportation. Use the definite article to refer to the whole transportation system rather than to an individual vehicle. How long does it take on the bus? The subway is quicker. Now, if you use the construction by plus means of transport, then you don't use an article. I go by subway. I usually travel by train. Next, we're going to check out forms of entertainment and musical instruments. Now, if you want to refer to a form of entertainment in general or a musical instrument in general, use the definite article. I enjoyed seeing the ballet. She plays the piano. He plays the flute. Now, if you want to refer to a particular event, use the indefinite article. I saw a good movie last night. I had a piano recital last night. Now, let's consider nouns as an activity or as a place or object. Certain nouns refer to either a place or object or to an activity. And when they refer to an activity, do not use the definite article. Now, here's a table on your screen. The same word can be used as an activity. Example, I go to bed at 11 o'clock and we do not use any article. But when we use the word bed as a place, don't jump on the bed. We use the definite article the. Next is use of articles for directions. Nouns indicating direction do not take the definite article. Example, go two blocks south and turn left. On the other hand, you would say turn left at the traffic light. While left does not take an article, the traffic light is now a specific point from where you need to turn. We use the, however, for compass directions. My house is to the east of the river. The south is quite warm this time of the year. But what is the difference between I've never been to North Germany or I've never been to the north of Germany? In the first sentence, North Germany is a place, a general place in the northern part of Germany. I've never been to the north of Germany. This one would imply that I have never been to any place that is more north than Germany latitude wise. Next, let's look at the usage of the with periods of time, names of decades, centuries and historic periods. Now all of these take the definite article as they are a form of unique reference. The 1960s were a time of student rebellion. She studies the literature of the Victorian era. The is also used with specific times, say, I exercise in the morning. Our anniversary is on the 15th of June. Now, the next category is ordinal numbers used as qualifiers. This is the second time she's been late. You are the fifth doctor I've talked to about this. It's the last piece of cake. 
We'll meet at the next station. She sat in the middle row. I saw them at the end of the road. The is also used with adjectives that refer to specific groups of people. There have been recent calls to tax the rich. The Spanish settled here in 1695. The poor have been exploited by governments for years. We use the before family names when we are referring to it as a group. The McAllisters moved last year. We had dinner with the Smiths last night. Now we also use the as an adverb with comparatives. The more the merrier. I am the fittest I have ever been. I hope you're following your fitness journey. But here is a full list of these special uses of the definite article and you can take a screenshot. Now we're going to look at cases where no article is used. Neither a, an, nor the. Now recap. Remember this table we had seen earlier? Articles are not used before names of general substances, concepts and uncountable nouns used in a general sense. So what is the difference between sugar is bad for your teeth? Could you pass me the sugar please? When used in a general sense, articles are often omitted because they refer to general concepts or non-count things like honesty is the best policy. Gold is a precious metal. But when it's used in a particular sense, it takes on the. Could you pass me the sugar? Which sugar? The one on the table. <laughs> I can't forget the kindness with which he treated me. Now see the difference between. I like music, which means music in general. I like the music in this cafe. Specific music in a particular context. Second, articles are not used before plural countable nouns used in a general sense. We saw that earlier in the table. Now what is the difference between children love to play? Where are the children? The first is used in a general sense. Example, all children in general like to play. The second is used in a specific sense. Which children? Our children. Now third, articles are not used before most proper nouns. When we studied the usage of the, we found that certain geographic features needed the before them, like the Nile River, the Himalayas. But no articles are used before names of people, continents, countries, cities, names of individual mountains, individual islands, lakes, hills, etc. They climbed Mount Everest. His apartment is on Princess Street. This is my first time in Asia. She visited Paris. Now, she visited the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Specific landmark needs the. Let's talk about names of companies. I stopped using Twitter and Facebook when I got my Apple iPhone. So you don't use an article before names of companies. Names of universities? Scarlett finished her undergrad at Oxford and she will transfer to Stanford. But if we are saying the University of Michigan, then perhaps we will use the word the. My brother will be teaching at the University of Miami next year. Next, we usually do not use articles before names of meals that are used in a general sense. Example, the lunch or a breakfast would be incorrect. What is the difference between these two? Dinner is ready. What time do you have dinner? I had a late lunch. The lunch we had at Hilton was very heavy. Now articles will be used either when there is an adjective like late lunch or if you are referring to a specific meal, the specific lunch we had at the Hilton. Next, no article is used before names of languages and nationalities. He is learning French. She can speak Spanish. I just found out that I have Japanese ancestry. The only exception is when you're using language as a qualifier. I am studying the Spanish language. Next, articles are omitted when talking about academic subjects and sports. I'm studying math. Now here math is a subject. I need help with the math homework specific math assignment. I haven't played basketball since I was young. 
Here's another one. We usually do not use an article before school, college, church, market, bed, table, hospital, prison. I go to church every Sunday. She is on her way home. Can you pick me up from work today? What time do you need to go to school? She's in her first year of university. Dad's in hospital at the moment. Next. No article is used before names of relations like father, mother, aunt, uncle. Father is unwell, aunt wants you to meet her. Next, articles are not used before the names of a unique position that can be held by one person at a time. He has become chairman of the board. He became principal of the college in 2020. Now here is a full list of all the eight use cases of no article and you can take a screenshot. And that, by the way, is the full masterclass on articles. So if you have any questions, do write them down in the comment section. And in the meantime, practice more and happy learning.